have a beef with him, Tien. Trust me. I feel like if there was something like that, they should have told the general public from the onset. And I know this beef will not go anywhere. Yeah, welcome to it, Benis, right here on YouTube. My name is Benis, you can call me Ben and Nice, and you can call me Ira as well. So a few days ago, I came to talk to you guys about the MTN eSIM and how we are going to request for the MTN eSIM. So I requested for mine on, on 6th of January, that was a Friday. And that was when I did the screen recording to come and teach you guys. But right now, I have a beef with MTN, trust me. I have a beef, a bigger beef with MTN. I got a call on Monday at exactly 5.51 p.m. from MTN Ghana. Initially, when I saw the call, looking at the number, I was feeling very reluctant to answer the call because the number was weird. 0244 something, 30000 something. But all the same, I answered the call and a lady said, please, am I speaking to Bernice? She mentioned my full name and I was like, yeah, it was like, Okay, I'm calling from MTN Ghana. You requested for the MTN eSIM, but I'm So I asked the lady why, and she said, Okay, so let me ask you a few questions. And I was like, Okay, fine, you can go in. So she said in the request entry form, you entered iPhone as your brand. So which type of iPhone do you use? And I was like, I use iPhone 7 Plus. And she was like, yeah, so the MTN eSIM, any phone under iPhone X, it's not compatible with the MTN eSIM. Like that and then I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of questions to ask the lady, but I said to let her go. So right after the call, I was like, is this not a first out or something so i went to google and i typed mtn ghana's official line and lo and behold that was the official number 024 something something i'll place it on the screen so that you guys will see so after she hung the call up and after some few minutes i received a message that blah 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 your request for the mtn ecm with request something something has been rejected so my question is right now why is it that MTN Ghana didn't tell us from the onset that let's say if you are using iPhone X downwards, your phone wouldn't support the MTN eSIM. And she even said it's the phones after iPhone X. Yeah, she said the phones after iPhone X that supports the MTN eSIM. So why is that when they came to tweet on Twitter? Because I saw this communique on Twitter from their official Twitter page that once you get the EID and the IMEI codes, your phone is compatible. And right now, they are telling us otherwise. So right now, the main focus or the main motive of this video is that after requesting for the MTN eSIM, MTN Ghana says, if you are using an iPhone, any iPhone below iPhone X, it's not compatible with the MTN eSIM. I don't know of other brands, so maybe you guys can go ahead to request for it. And she said, after I get a phone that is higher than the iPhone 7 Plus, I should call them so that they will do a migration, I know. So, that was why I said I have a beef with him in Ghana. Because I feel like if there was something like that, they should have told the general public from the onset. And I know this beef will not go anywhere. So all the same, that was the important update I wanted to tell you guys. So please, please go ahead. The M10 eSIM, I believe it is a good idea. It is a good initiative. It's a good innovation. And you guys should purchase and you guys should put yourself into Someone came under my comment section in the other video was like, it's because of the 10 gigabyte free bundle that they are giving to people that people are rushing in for the M10 eSIM. But... I believe that this eSIM something is a great idea, it's a great initiative. So all of us should please request for it. And if you've not gotten any feedback from MT and Ghana, please take your time. I know they will get back to you. Once again, my name is Benis and this is you with Benis. Have a blessed day.